Right then, um, <laughs> Uncle Spike's back. Um, we're about to get started properly on this thing now. Um, so we've been through, as I spoke about last time, spoke about what we're going to do. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is Uncle Spike's going to get his 3D scanner out. Right? Um, and we're going to essentially scan model, I'm going to say the whole car, but not the whole car, but most of it, um, before we start pulling things apart. Um, and then hopefully we'll get it off the floor. Uncle Spike's going to scan the bottom. Uh, and then, have you brought the plasma cutter? Yeah. Excellent. We're going to get plasma cutting. Or I'm just biking. I'm going to be standing over there. Right? <laughs> okay, so Uncle Spike is uh, presently scanning the car. Um, the reason we're scanning the car um, is so that we can. We can find out our exact suspension angles, um, you know, things like caster, camber, all of those things. I know that it's a known, it's a known thing anyway on the front, um, but the back, we don't know. Um, also, things like the distances between there, there, our centre points. Um, so once we've got the whole car scanned, it should be that little bit easier when we start to cut things about because when we start to mount the new subframe in the rear. We'll know exactly where the wheels need to be. And that's probably a good thing. And what strap tops? And strap tops, yeah, strap top angles. And subframe. Subframe, yeah, where to mount the subframe. Um, oh, she didn't like that, Uncle Spike. Turn oh, off. she's ready to go. Oh, I see. So you'll leave that now to um, to process, essentially. That's just one part of the car. And then, so Uncle Spike will do each little part of the car and then he'll knit them all together. And then we'll end up with a, uh, a digitized 3D picture of a Mini. Um, it's hard to because the three because the three D scanner all it gives us is like a three D picture, isn't it? It's got no engineering details on it essentially. Yeah. Something to work around. I mean, I can create planes and put things where I need them to be. So where the struts and the suspension pickups are, I can create data. So like we can upload the the picture into CAD yeah. and then put like a plane over this and a plane over that, and then you can find the angles and stuff basically. I can throw sketches in there and work from the sketches, but yeah, this this gives you. A base, nothing more. You can't do too much with it. But it will give us all of our datum points for this minute. Oh, yeah, it'll take exactly um, where everything is. And, and the good thing is, is like once we've cut all the back ends, because we're going to be quite brutal, I think, aren't we? We're just going to get in there and cut it out. Plasma. Plasma. Yeah, once it's out, it's gone. We've got none of our data points, none of our pickup points. They're not relevant to anything we're doing anymore. So um, it'll be nice to be able to go back to this and go, oh. Yeah, I, I can overlay a front quarter into the rear, line up the wheels. And everything and tell us exactly where our essentially rear front strut top will be. Perfect. So create something in CAD. Make that makes that work. Makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, not that we're planning on using the front end. We're not going 90 style and just welding this front yeah. end into the back. But it's nice to know where everything's got to be. We'll throw a cage in and drag some stuff off of that. Yeah, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Fiesta. Hey. A bit like the Fiesta. A bit like the Fiesta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I can't wait to cut this apart. <laughs> okay, nicely done Uncle Spike. So um, Uncle Spike scanned all the bits we're interested in. So we've now got all the suspension angles, um, all of the mounting point positions, uh, wheelbase, width, the whole shooting match. And it's even picked up all the crapness of the speed, of the stickers on the side. So um, yeah, we're happy as hell with that. Right, so now we need to empty this Uncle Spike, don't we? Get the seats out. Take the fuel tank out. Get the fuel tank out. And then cut it. And get some cutting going on. <laughs> so, um, petrol tank's gone, <clears throat> the seat belts are gone, and um, I've moved out like the fuel lines and just joined them there for a minute because we're going to make some fire Mate, it absolutely mings in here it <laughs> might dry the mold out <laughs> we haven't cleaned in the back here because all of this is going a snail gonna go there is a snail yeah snail tracks going across so um basically we just got to remove all these brake lines now that we've sort of um we, we p clip these in with some nice copper clips so we're going to take all of those out so that then this is completely open we'll take the boot lid out and remove the radiator and then uh yeah, and then I guess best start cutting stuff, Spike. Favourite bit. <laughs>
Okay, Uncle Spike's just pulling off the exhaust. We've got loads of stuff going off the back here now. We've removed everything from the inside, the handbrake, the gear selector, literally everything. We're just taking this uh, exhaust pipe off. Then we can drop this back axle down uh, and see what we're left with. Smells like burning flesh. I think that went with my arm. I probably should have got my safety coat back on. Safety coat? <laughs> He's in his element cutting stuff out of the car. I've had to uh, put my uh, backwards, my uh, engine stand up there because the front of the car is starting to fall off. So we strapped it under as well and hopefully it doesn't fall off and kill him. Um, slight maiming is all right, mate, isn't it? You all right, mate? Yeah, Sammy's just come in because he's worried because it stinks because there's smoke coming everywhere. What am I Not his fault, he said. He's, uh, he's in his element there. He's cutting out the entirety of the back end. Uh, right up to the chassis leg. Um, uh, we're we're going to leave the chassis legs in it for the minute. Um, we need to modify them very slightly. Um, we've overlaid the drawing that Spike's done um, versus, versus the front. Um, so we know where we can come up to. Um, we just, he's basically leaving that much from the plasma uh, so we can just settle it nicely with the, uh, with the sanding wheels. But he's having a time of his life in there. Look. We're in the back, um, so we have cut everything out. I say we, Spike, majoritively has plasmed everything out up to these chassis legs. Um, so he's taken like this. Oh, this is stuff we've added in the fence. But here, where this, where the this is the main chassis that holds the rear beam. Um, but he's trimmed just round there, and then he can just tidy this up and flat that right back into this. Um, at the same here, so that will just look all like a nice. Uh, that plasma cut is an absolute weapon, isn't it? Yes, I'm really pleased with that. Um, so we have got like shit loads of room, um, like loads of room, mm. like the engine's going to end here and then we've got all this room for, um, we've, got, we've obviously got find a place for radiators, intercoolers for rear engine, fuel tank, fuel tank. What the best bet right by the block. <laughs> yeah, let's do that, by the turbo. Mm. And assumedly we're going to need some sort of bulkhead here as well. That might be nice to pick up to actually, now I'm stood under it. We come straight up from this. Yeah, straight up from there, up to there, and then we've got all this back further. Um, you think an alley or plastic? I think it'd be nice to... Clear, we see through. I have a window. Yeah, just make the whole thing 8 mil clear. I don't know, I don't, I don't like the idea of the fire. Well, not really, any fucking fire. No, that's fair. All right, we'll think about that. Either way, the bottom bit could be up, up to there could be um, metal because it'd be nice to come off with something. Yeah, stop the rods. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got we got to bring some vents in here, haven't we? Some side vents yes. to come in to cool everything, rear coolers and stuff. But um, right, so we're nearly at the end of this. We'll bring in. Um, we've got a load of stuff which we which we've got from like a front end to put in the back, of course. That we found in the garden. That we found, yeah, <laughs> in, in the garden from another one we broke. So we're, we've we've kept a nice subframe. Um, so I'll show you what we're going to do with that. We'll bring that in, and then that's pretty much the end of the video. Uh, and then in the next video, I'm relatively sure we'll have a uh, subframe in the back here. Hopefully.
hopefully. Yeah, we've got a lot of tidying up to do and stuff. Some tin work. A bit of metal work, yeah. We need to get some plate as well. We're going to have to cut through this to the shop. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we want to upgrade the electronics in this uh, in this thing. So um, got some goodies from our friends at AIM. So we've got um, we're going to go for the uh, the PDM thirty um, two. We've got the dash. Um, we've got some other goodies and I just ordered the loom. Um, it's just a flying loom. Um, so yeah, we're going to throw all those bits and pieces in the thing. Um, should make it that little bit less budget, maybe. Okay, so um, this is the uh, another front subframe, essentially. Now, uh, what we're going to be able to do, because Uncle Spike has 3D scanned um, every pickup point, etc., etc., on this car now, um, we are going to be able to utilise the front frame and just make some some bracketry up. We're going to probably modify this this frame, but with some bits that we can get um, cut out, probably water cut or whatever. Um, and then we can pick up on the original points on the front of the rear axle. Um, so we can bolt this up and it will be perfectly um, in line length that way. And then we'll know this depth as well again because of Uncle Spike's 3D scan. So once we've got this front mounted, it's a case then of like making something for the back here to mount, we think would be about there. So we get to chop this right off rear arms go to there this should come to about here we think it's going to be quite far back but it doesn't matter um and once that's mounted which we're hoping to do next sunday next sunday club we're hoping that the subframe will be in um which is halfway there then really because we can then um obviously then we've got to start thinking about the struts once the strut tops are mounted whether we do that with pipe or Uncle Spike used some eight inch pipe last time that the strut just went in. Um, we've obviously got a trim round here, but again, it's it's just cutting and welding. The the, the main piece is just getting this in. Once this is in, uh, everything else will just bolt up to this. We'll be able to just throw the engine in, a uh, couple of engine mounts, um, throw the struts on. The drive shafts that we had made for the front of this for the DQ250, they'll just fit. Lower arms, standard lower arms will just fit. Um, the only the only negative really is we'll have to use front struts on the rear. So we're going to have to speak to a manufacturer of struts to help us um, get four front shocks and sell the B16s we got. Yeah, calculate properly. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, I'm really happy. What about you, Uncle Spike? You're happy. You've cut something out, haven't you? Yeah, it's boring stage now. Isn't it? Hey? It's boring stage now. Yeah, boring. Nearly fell over that boring stage now where we've got to actually start making stuff properly. Mm. Yeah, ultimately. We've just made a chin up bar out of a fucking mini. That's yeah, we made a chin up bar out of a mini. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. That's the end of the first. No, the end of the second video of Gen 2 mini. Gen 2. Gen, no, sorry. Yeah. I don't know. It's on like Friday. version version 56.0. Yeah. 6.0. Version 6.0. So um, hopefully next time we'll have this bolted up in there um, and we can start looking at struts getting some wheels on um, and then at least getting the thing back on our wheels um, which would be nice hopefully I don't know I can't see that taking more than a couple of days not really no, leave on the standard struts for a minute I guess yeah use standard struts for a minute um, but yeah thanks for joining us um, thanks again for coming along on this little journey of trying to make a ridiculous mini on a budget um, but yeah my favourite word <laughs> your favourite word on a budget yeah right Thanks ever so much. Uh, like and subscribe.